Ashwan Pala addressing the media today. Firstly, congratulations on a fantastic win. Your first question for the day. All plans seem to have fallen into place for this game. Can you share insights on team's specific plans for Chennai Super Kings today? Um, I won't go deep into details as to what we actually planned, but you know, it was good to see that the, the bowlers actually went out and executed. Um, you know, we wanted to set the tone, you know, really, really early as a bowling unit. And I thought we did that, you know, opening with our two main bowlers. Um, obviously, Jasper, we weren't thinking about using with the new ball, but after that over from Trent and getting that early wicket, you know, Raidu has batted well against us in you know, the last couple of times and over the past couple of years. So, you know, we just decided to go for him and, you know, it worked for us. And again, as I said, it's just a matter of seeing the bowlers execute the plans and coming out and delivering. What was the thought behind choosing the bowl on a flat track at Shotshot? Um, you know, we batted first in the first time we played. Um, you know, we did well. It was a day game. It was hot. Um, but you know, you see the scores. You know, has been getting a bit lower each and every time. And I'm a big believer in a ground like this. You know, you're always in the game. You know, if you're batting second, you know, six here and there because of the nature of the small ground. And I'd rather have to chase, say, for instance, 160 rather than have to defend. You know, 160 on this ground. So. Again, that was part and parcel, you know, of it. And of course, you know, Chennai, I don't think they batted pretty well in their last game as well. So putting them in, putting them under pressure and getting early wickets, I think actually worked for us. Top bowling by the opening pair again. They've been consistent for the team throughout the tournament. How comforting it is to have such a bowling lineup. And also what was the thinking behind Bumrah taking the new ball in the second over? Yeah, I said, you know, having two world-class bowlers, you know, bowling on new ball is fantastic for us. You know, kudos to the, the management staff and they, you know, for putting together such a, you know, wonderful team and combination, you know, as well. Um, and I said earlier, um, you know, we were thinking about, you know, having Trent open the bowling and maybe go either Nathan or, or the spinner. But seeing a couple of balls swing and yeah, I said, getting that early weekend, and having Raidu come in, I, I just thought that it was good that, you know, use our most experienced, you know, bowler and one of our better bowlers against their better batsmen. This win also puts the Mumbai Indians back at the top of the table. However, you do have stiff competition from RCB and DC. So what will be the focus areas going forward? Focus areas will always be improving as a team, you know, thinking about what we need to do to improve, you know, as a team. Um, so when we have to come up against these guys, we know what we need to do. And I think before that we play against Rajasthan Royals, so we don't have to think just yet about RCB and Delhi. So as a team, you know, we just try to take it one step at a time, one game at a time, and hopefully come in 48 hours time, you know, we come, we regroup, and we come up with some other plans, we execute it, and then think about what needs to happen in the back end. Any thoughts on uh, experimenting with the with the with the team? Uh, for example, trying out the bench strengths now that the team is through to the playoffs. Um, no thought. Again, you know, winning is a habit. Losing becomes a habit. And it's not something that, you know, we want to actually, you know, do and change, you know, the chemistry that we have at this point in time. We have some world-class players on the bench as well, which is good. Um, but I, I also believe in, you know, these things take care of itself. The opportunities will come when necessary. You know, nothing happens before it's time. So, again, as I said, it's just a matter of us trying to continue and improve each and every time. And hopefully we'll see in the next couple of games where that takes us if we decide to go that way. But at this point in time, speaking to here, no thought has been come about in terms of you know experimenting with other players and the last one for the day uh, how good was it to lead such a talented team which has been performing consistently throughout the tournament um, I think it's fantastic um, the pressure would have definitely been on knowing that you know we have won a lot of games um, it's very unfortunate that we have lost our captain and uh, at the end of it when you look at it he has done really really well for us you know as a batter and as a leader and it's disappointing that we don't have him on the field. Um, as you said, what we're going to do, we're going to try to consistently perform and hopefully at some point, you know, get him back. He's a very integral part of this team. He's a leader. And, you know, we as a bunch will just try to go out and hold the fort until such time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.